This is the compare and contrast video lesson. And during this lesson, I'm going to show you how to write a compare and contrast essay or paragraph. And I'm right now in my drive in Google. And I'm going to go into the expanding literacy student work. And we talked about the fact that I put the work in different folders. So today is July 16th. So I'm going to go in there. All the work is in all the folders. I'm just, just trying to make it easier for you. Um, we're going to go to the sample. Actually, we're going to open Unit 7 Writing, Plan and Write a Compare Contrast Paragraph. That's here, and it looks like this. Once it's open, you need to make a copy of it and make sure that you have shared it with me. Now, I also have a second one called, I'm in here called Sample copy of Unit 7 Writing Plan and Write a Compare Contrast. And that's one that's already complete. So we're going to start by looking at this one. This is the one that you have. It's blank. And then I'll show you how to write it. So let me show you the parts of it. Compare and Contrast Paragraph. Directions. Compare yourself to someone else. It could be a sibling. That means a brother or a sister. A movie star a friend, or someone else. Plan the paragraph by completing the Venn diagram below. This is a Venn diagram here. It's two circles. When it has been approved by your teacher, then you will write a detailed paragraph that compares and contrasts. You must use a, the compare contrast keywords in the paragraph, have a good topic sentence, and use many details to show how you are the same and different than the person to whom you are comparing yourself. Okay, so this is a Venn diagram. It's two circles. Here's me, and here's the person you're comparing yourself to. Now, here it explains what kind of information goes in here. It says, write facts about you that are different than the person in this circle. Um, than the other person. So what things about you that are different than your other person? Over here, you're going to write facts about the other person that are different than you. And you write those in this circle. And in the middle of a Venn diagram, you write facts that are the same about both of you. And you put those in the middle. And this is a, when you're comparing and contrasting, using a Venn diagram is a good diagram to use, okay, to organize your ideas. All right, so those are your notes. That's your planning. And then down below is where you're going to write your paragraph. And the directions say, using the Venn diagram from above, write a compare and contrast paragraph that compares yourself to the other person. Use the compare contrast keywords in the box at the right. Remember to write a good topic sentence and use plenty of good details that show how you are the same and how you are different. Okay, so over here, I've put a list of words that compare, how you are the same, and contrast, how you are different. Same, similar to, both, alike, compared to, like, also, or two, they mean the same thing. Likewise, and then all these words mean the same, and, and as well as. And then when you want to show how you are different, you're going to use words like different, but, on the, on the other hand, <clears throat> instead of, in contrast to, unlike, however, different from, and whereas. So these are words that are going to, going to show you how to say that you're the same and how to say that you're different. Okay, now I want to show you a sample. So I'm going to come up here to my sample copy of the seven unit writing. And I did a comparison between me and my sister Colette. So over here are some facts about me. I'm 45. I'm short. I'm married with three kids. I'm afraid of horses. I am a teacher. And over here are facts about my sister. Now I want you to notice that this goes with this. 
So I'm 45, Colette is 40. That's what's different, but the fact is kind of the same. I am short, she is tall, almost six feet. I am married with three kids. She is single but has lived with her boyfriend for 12 years, no kids. I am afraid of horses. She loves horses. She has two and trains other people's horses. And I am a teacher and she drives a truck for a construction company. So those are ways that we are different. Now. In the middle, I have some things that are the same about us. We grew up together. We both love to cook. We love to be outside. And we always have fun together. So there's a lot of information. And you, you're going to need a lot of information to write a good paragraph. The more information, the better. You can do more than this. I don't want you to do any less than this. So the person you're comparing yourself to, you're going to have to come up with a lot of things that are the same and a lot of things that are different. You can do more than mine, but you cannot do less than mine. All right, so now let's look at my paragraph. Remember I said we need a good topic sentence, and here is my topic sentence. Let me make this a nice red color so we can see it. Although my sister Colette and I are very different, there are many things that are the same about us. Okay, that's a good topic sentence because it tells my reader that I'm going to show you things that are the same and things that are different. I am 45 years old, but Colette is five years younger than me. She is only 40. I am married with three children. She, on the other hand, is single, but has lived with her boyfriend for 12 years. My job is very different than Colette's. Oh, I need a, a possessive there. I am a teacher, whereas she drives a truck for a construction company. While we both have hobbies, the things that we enjoy doing are very different. She loves horses and trains them in her free time. I, in contrast, am terrified of horses. I like smaller animals, like dogs. We both love to be in the outdoors. We enjoy taking hikes in the woods and camping. We also both enjoy cooking. We spend some afternoons together cooking big meals for our family. Although my sister and I are very different and spend our time doing different things, we do love to be together. We grew up together and share a lifetime of memories. When we are together, we always have fun and laugh a lot. Okay. So this whole paragraph shows how we're similar and how we're different. So I'm going to highlight the words from the list that I used. Um, but, and I'm going to make this, what color should I make this? Let's make this like um, pink or green. Let's make it green. All right, but that shows that we're different. She, on the other hand, again, this is a contrast, shows how we're different. Here's the word different. Whereas, again, we're showing a lot. I started my paragraph by showing how we're different. Both, we both have hobbies. That's something that's the same. The things that we do are very different. There's a word again, different. She loves horses and trains them in her free time. I, in contrast, again, this is going to show that we're different. I like. Oops, yellow, no, let's make that green. Um, smaller animals, both, they're something we have in common, the same. We enjoy taking hikes in the woods. We also both, there's another thing that's the same. Although my sister and I are very different,
and spend our time doing different things. We do love to be together. We grew up together and share lifetime memories. When we are together, we always have fun and laugh a lot. Okay, so you can see all the green are some of these keywords. And then again, it's very important to write a good topic sentence that shows your reader that you are going to show how you are the same and different. Okay, so that is your compare contrast paragraph. You need to plan it and then you need to write it. Please make sure you've made a copy and that you've shared it with me. If you have any questions, please send me a text um, and I will get back to you. Okay, good luck.